I wanted a couple of uh, tags to fool with, and uh, I don't have any around here local to pick up, so I thought I'd do a little short clip on how to make your own tags. I use uh, a Tweeted Joe's uh, acrylic block and a lot of things. This grid mark makes it very easy to uh, line up and measure. Uh, I'm going to make an ATC size tag. By the way, the little uh, Tweety Joe blocks are the same size as an ATC. Because of the grid mark, it's also easy to mark off, make sure that your corners are even on the tag. And then I cut the tag out. I, cut it, I use manila paper, and that's just as thick as what a regular tag is. And then mark it in the, I know where the center is, the mark it for, uh, let me punch a hole and put a reinforcement in it. I use the paper reinforcements and I color them. You can either use ink, or in this case I happen to put a little bit of uh, paint on it. And you can make them look just exactly like the reinforcements that are on the, the commercial manila tags. Well, once you punch your hole in there, you line the little reinforce up and put it on top, and there you have it. You have a tag. Now, this tag I drew all over to make a, I guess they call them like a Zentangle sort of a design. And uh, I thought I'd just mention, once you do a design, any kind of a design you like, it's not very difficult to turn into a uh, Photoshop brush. This one here was turned into a Photoshop brush. Up. Oh. My earth tongue, I gotta go eat. Hey, she's a good cook, holy mackerel. But all I eat is Philippine food. Oh, I scanned, uh, it's funny. after I ate, I scanned it and turned this into it. I didn't scan, I took a picture of it and I turned it into a Photoshop brush. Here's the actual brush itself once it's uh, used in Photoshop. Now once it's, uh, once it's a brush, you can stamp it on anything you want to. And you can actually reproduce your, uh, your whole tag. Stamp the thing out. And here's where I put on a pink background. I, put a, I actually threw a shadow on it so you could see that it's on a, on a double layer. I'll take the brush and I'll stamp it, put it on uh, manila paper, on a manila colored paper, then use Photoshop to trim the manila out. I'll mask it, then I'll and cut it out, and then I've got a tag. Then once you, then once you have it, uh, you can fill it in with a, uh, with your uh, fill tool and make a nice little design.